in the last three Democrat years, frontrunner Bernie Sanders was under attack from all candidates on stage at the CBS News debate in South Carolina on Tuesday. Candidates called him a risky choice and criticized his ambitious universal health care proposal, which they say is costly. Former mayor Pete Buttigieg kicked off the fiery assault. I'll tell you exactly what it adds up to. It adds up to four more years of Donald Trump. Not only is this a way to get Donald Trump reelected, we got a House to worry about. We got a Senate to worry about. Billionaire Michael Bloomberg tried to make his mark in his second debate after a disappointing first show in Nevada. He launched allegations of Russia trying to help Sanders, which Sanders himself immediately slapped down. Hey, Mr. Putin, if I'm president of the United States, trust me, you're not going to interfere in any more American elections. Sanders has been streaming ahead in the first three nominating contests, building his campaign on raising the minimum wage and making public colleges and universities tuition free. Warren sought to cling on to Sanders' coattails, saying progressive ideas were popular, but she was the safer choice to win moderate votes. But I think I would make a better president than Bernie. And the reason for that is that getting a progressive agenda enacted is going to be really hard. Other hot topics were whether candidates would move the embassy in Israel, North Korea relations, as well as how they would handle the coronavirus if they were president. The debate was the final head-to-head -head encounter before Saturday's primary and next week's vital Super Tuesday contest.